Hi guys, this is Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So this message will be for Cancer. Let's see what we got for Cancer for the month of November 2017. What messages do we have for Cancer for November 2017? Cancer, November 2017. What messages do we have for Cancer? I do see you coming out of a difficult situation. New things beginning for you this month, Cancer, which is freaking awesome. Pulled that twice. So that's definitely a message. Some of you guys are expecting the worst out of a situation, and there's a need for you not to. Um, I do see very positive cards in your reading, so you expecting the worst is strictly mental. It's all in your head. You're boxing yourself in with your own fears, Cancer. So let's pull some clarification for Cancer for November 2017. What clarification do we have for Cancer? For November 2017, clarification for cancer. November 2017. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Your underlying energy is the Emperor and the Nine of Swords. Maybe there's a need for you to set some type of structure to your thoughts right now to actually. Um, restrain yourself from having these negative thoughts so that you can have some positive and more optimistic thoughts popping off right now. All right, so for your theme of the month, we got the Ten of Swords. This represents the end of a difficult situation, the need for you to embrace change and expect things to get better that you needed to get up out of this mindset of expecting the worst, okay? This could also be you recovering from some type of illness or addiction. With the Three of Wands right here, maybe you're waiting for something to happen. Choose wisely whatever it is that you're waiting for and wanting and understand you get what you ask for so with you having the Midas touch you need to be careful what you're asking and what you're requesting because whatever you're requesting at this time you will get okay within the first week of November we got the ace of wands so and then we got the hangman so this is you waiting for something to happen, especially with the three of wands as your clarification with the theme. You're waiting for something to begin. Maybe you're waiting to start a new job. Maybe you're waiting to start some type of new opportunities um, in regards to your career. Y'all, my hair. <laughs> it was pretty when I started, y'all. I don't know what happened. But this is you waiting around and maybe even gaining some clarity before you start. Maybe waiting around to see how things will unfold within this new career, this new um, opportunity that you're being presented. And maybe some of you guys are just wanting to see what will happen. So you just took a step and um, a leap of faith and now you're waiting for the results of whatever that is. For the second week of November, we got the King of Wands. So this is you needed to focus. Maybe communicate with the with the communicate with the vision. Um, be a leader, a searcher, independence, a searcher, creativity. Take advice from someone um, creative. This could be you having some type of motivation. With the Lovers card, this could be um, deciding to focus on something. This could be focusing on love. This could be a high passion or a high sex drive if you're in a relationship. So this week could be dealing with like a lot of sex. This also could be good health. Maybe you're um, dealing, you're having some good health after this illness that I do see at the beginning of um, the month or the theme for the month. This could be you being in good health now after that situation has come. All right, so within the third week, we got the Page of Pentacles. This represents wanting to do something more challenging. This represents taking up a new area of study, maybe even good news about financial matters. This could be you dealing with some type of earth sign with a, a child in regards to our earth sign. This could be judgment dealing with that child. Maybe this is court issues having to deal with the child. This could be you getting a second chance at something, um, maybe even a second chance at a job, a second chance at going to school, starting something. This could also be you needing not to be so judgmental in regards to your finances this month, so maybe even releasing the reins a little bit. By the fourth week of November, we got the Sun card. So this represents happy time, brilliant new ideas, um, having confidence in yourself. And with the King of Cups, this is you opening your energy and opening yourself up to other people, being very trustworthy, and even doing charity work in regards to um, 
not just love, but just in life in general, being a very genuine, nice, trustworthy person. This could be like a father and figure. So this could be you having a good relationship with your children. If you're a man, if you're a woman, this could be you having a good relationship with your, with your father or with your husband or with a male figure in your life, even your sons. This is just like opening your, yourself up to energy, open yourself up to good, positive energy. So let's go ahead and pull. We're going to pull from our sin and masters. Pull for cards so I can find them. Here we go. <laughs> I couldn't find them, y'all. All right, so let's see what we got. What messages do we have for cancer for the month of November 2017? Any messages for cancer for the month of November 2017? Messages for cancer. We got energy healing. A lot of you guys are needed to do some type of energy healing, some type of healing for your uh, chakras, uh, healing for your energy, your aura, any type of energy. It could be just you recharging after. For some of you guys, I definitely see a sickness. So this could be you recharging after um, sickness and you even using energies to help heal you from the sickness. What are the messages do we have for cancer? It says you are seeing this situation and health and healing. So I definitely did see some... Um, some health issues at the beginning of the month. A lot of you guys are healing from those health issues. This could also be you needing to, because I got priorities underneath, so you needing to make your health a priority this month. For those of you that have are getting over this illness, just stay strong and make sure that you're staying focused on healing. For those of you that um, have yet to go through this, make sure that you're being very cautious of your health this month, because I do see health issues very strong in this read. So this is all I got for cancer. Thank you so much for your time. Um, until next time, Cancer, y'all have a good night.